During the Middle Ages, traveling groups such as the Vikings launched lightning-fast raids on European villages. Because the kings were too slow and could not send help fast enough, people became frustrated that they were not being protected. King Ben is here. Nothing bad can happen now. Are you kidding me? They stole everything. They came here like four days ago. They even took away like the filling of his Oreo. You're so slow. Mm. The system that was created was called feudalism. In this arrangement, rich lords who could not defend themselves gave land to knights who could not afford armor. It was the perfect system. The lord received protection and the knight received land so he could generate money to buy more armor and weapons. So, Jorge, never mind. What? It's just nothing. You wouldn't want to. Maybe I would. What's on your mind? Do you think if you're not busy, maybe you'd want to be my vassal? Yeah, that sounds fun. Sure. Awesome. Here's a map to your thief. Sweet. Now I can go into battle with something thicker than just this t-shirt. It doesn't really stop swords, you know? True that. Cause you got me, baby. Once a noble gave land to a knight, the noble became a lord, and the knight became a vassal. Feudalism dictated that each were sworn to protect each other. If the vassal needed help, the lord sent it. If the lord needed help, the vassal went to fight. In addition, a lord was required to treat all his vassals fairly. Here you go, vassals. These are your social studies books. Hey, I need one. You're a lord. You're supposed to treat everyone fairly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, well, there you go. Thank you. Being a vassal also carried with it certain requirements. For instance, the vassal had to give presents to his lord on special occasions. My daughter, I'm so excited you're getting married. Yeah, I'm really happy to be on my own, Dad. Psst. Oh, Joe! Here's a gift to celebrate your daughter's wedding. Thanks. A vassal was also required to give his lord a place to stay if his lord was traveling far from home even if the vassal's house was not elegant or elaborate. On the road again. Just can't wait to get on the road again. Hi, vassal. I'm in the neighborhood and need a place to stay. Sure, follow me. Hey, daughter, clear out. Our reward is here. <laughs> Why did you do that? Sorry, young girl. I'm in her lord, and she has to give me a place to stay. Yeah, don't hate me. It's all required in feudalism. I don't believe you. Sounds like someone hasn't been paying attention in social studies. Ha 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 ha! ha, ha. As feudalism developed, knights organized their own code of behavior in order to raise the standard of their social position. This would ensure that only the most competent and honorable men became knights. According to the code, a knight must be all of the following. And you spare a dime. Some change, please. A dime, please. Some money. Thank you. Ugh, so heavy! Oh, looks uh, like the week needs, needs some help. Oh, one. <laughs> ah, two. Oh my god, there's a spider on the ground! <laughs> so heroic. So protective.
Hmm. Be merciful, you're a knight. Shake her hand and be done. Win and smash the board on her head. Ha 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 Because knights religiously followed such a strict code, they gained many admirers. Okay, it's alright. The Oreo is stuck on Ben's shoulder. Fuck. <laughs> 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 <laughs>